Oh, nice brownie. Nice brownie. First cast. Just. Just a little bit of a slow spot here. Oh, damn, he popped off. Whew, what a nice fish. That was my first cast. I'm out here on the Madison again. Just this gorgeous, gorgeous stretch here. Look at this scenery. You can see this really rough water in here. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to be picking my way through here. And you can see there's just a little bit of a slow spot there. And that's where these fish are going to be. And all of these, a little bit of a current break. That's all we're looking for. Boy, that was a that was an 18 inch brownie right there. It's a fish. <clears throat> Rainbow. Just making upstream cast just on this slower edge here in front of me. It's a pretty colored up rainbow here. Nice, real nice fish. <clears throat> Got him on a, uh, I believe he's on the France midge. I believe he is. Yeah, I got a size uh, 20 France midge on. Just a ton of midges in here. Boy, he's a gorgeous colored up rainbow right there. Just a great looking fish. So this is a cut bow right here. You can see it right under there. Just a good looking fish. Thank you there, Mr. Cut bow. That's pretty awesome. So you can see this, just this slower section off this main river here. He was right in here, maybe 15 feet in front of me i was just making an upstream stream cast just working it right back to me just barely a cider twitch you could see here the madison what we're dealing with here just super fast currents you can see this and every time you see the white water that's what i'm searching for I'm just concentrating on that because you're getting those nice current breaks. By the way, look at this scenery. 360 degrees. Absolutely gorgeous. Boy, these are just good drifts in there. I just, just knew. <clears throat> just such a good spot was making some really nice solid drifts there rainbow hit the france midge again it's good looking fish here thank you there mr bow just a great looking fish Boy, he shot back up in there. You can see this nice shallow riffle here, but right before that rock, you have some depth in there. And I just made a really nice drift in there. Felt, felt really good about it. So I have a um, lot, you know, a lot of current here, and we've got some upstream wind. And I have a three and a half bead uh, on the bottom, a size 14 stone pony, and then I've got a two and a half bead on a size 20 France midge. You can see this nice edge here coming off this shallow gravel bar here. Let's step out here, take it right back to me. There we go. Look at that, that fish was sitting in six inches of water right on the edge. Pretty nice fish too. Brownie hit the uh, stone pony. Six inches of water on the edge. 
and people would have walked right by. This is a nice fish here. Oh yeah, real nice brownie. Real nice brownie. There we go. Boy, that's, that's at least 18 right there. That's a heck of a nice fish right there. Yeah, that's a, it's 18 inches right there. Thank you there, Mr. Brown. Thank you there, buddy. Boy, Eagle went after that guy. That was awesome. That was awesome. So you can see this gravel bar right here. I came out here and I positioned myself so I can make an exact upstream cast. And he was on the edge, and I'm telling you, that fish was not sitting. It was sitting in six inches of water right there. And I'm looking up there, couldn't even see it. I mean, just completely camouflaged. Well, that just shows you that, especially when you're in this heavy water, they're gonna slide out, they're gonna get in this still water, and they're gonna hug these edges. And you've just gotta fish it all because, you know, I there's the meat of it has some depth here, but I just felt like I needed to work that edge first before I moved out there. Sure enough, he was sitting right there on the edge. Show you here. So I'm on this gravel bar. That fish was sitting right here where my boot is. I mean, that's six inches of water. It was right on this edge. You can see the depth right there, but that fish was right here in this still water. Looks really good up in front of me. There was a fish. Look at that nice brownie. Woo! That's another 18-inch fish. He hit just before it was dumping over there. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh yeah, he's he's the twin of that other one. Look at that guy. Maybe an inch shorter. But a heck of a nice brownie right there. Just a big old boy. This is what the Madison is all about right here. All about. She's beautiful. Look at that guy. Thank you there, Mr. Brown. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Two back-to-back -back big ones. Let me just walk you up here and show you where that fish was. <laughs> you can see a rock right there. I threw it behind that eddy. And right here, where it picks up the gradient, or I'm sorry, the gradient drops right there, it was right in front of that curve, and I, I talk about this all the time. Boy, fish love hugging right there, just in that cushion before it rolls over. That was pretty sweet. There's a fish. rainbow so I'll tell you what I did here I had made multiple casts here with my three five stone pony and just this upstream wind combined with this heavy current I just wasn't getting a good drift so I switched over to a size 12 waltz worm with a orange collar and I got a four mil bead immediately I could tell I was getting a better drift it just became really stable and I lost that one <laughs> But that was all about, oh, he broke me off. He was on the midge. But that was all about weight management. I mean, <laughs> when you're in water like this, you can get a good drift, but it's just, you gotta have the right weight on. If there is no wind earlier, I say earlier, 20 minutes ago, I was fishing well with my 3.5 bead. Just this big upstream wind, which, you know, the West is known for 
really started wreaking havoc and I could tell this is just a good looking spot. I mean, he was right there on the edge off of that boulder. And look at this, I'm standing literally on the bank and that was my second cast. Just got a real, I could tell right away it got stable and I hooked that guy. There's another one, nice fish. I'm trying to position every cast, I'm trying to fish upstream and back to me, just because of the wind is so bad and I'm, <laughs> I'm getting much better drifts, casting straight up to stream and working it back, I can control it much better. This is another really nice, rainbow on the uh, France midge. Uh, there we go. Good looking fish again. Get the camera. It's probably wet. Look at that guy. Thank you there, Mr. Bow. Thank you there, buddy. I'm in this spot, you can just tell, this is just a gorgeous area here. Just in this, not in the soft spot, in a little bit faster water right here, but I'm having, once again, having great luck trying to position myself to make an upstream cast and bring it back to me. That way I can fight the wind. Now here I can't fish upstream, but the wind died down a smidge and I might be able to get a good drift out there. Not bad. There's a fish. There we go. <coughs> he hit the uh, wall. That's a brownie. That's a 12 inch brownie, that's my small guy. Thank you there, Mr. Brown. Thank you there, little guy. So once again, he's just right out in that eddy. I was able to get a really good drift, even with that wind. And that's because of that big bead I have on, just really helped tremendously on that fish. hit the waltz just really felt like they'd be spread out in here <clears throat> just such a good looking piece of water here another awesome feisty rainbow Boy, he was pinned. Thank you there, Mr. Bo. Thank you there, buddy. Just have some nice depth. It's probably thigh deep in here, maybe two and a half feet. Just current is ripping. Wind is coming upstream, probably 15 miles an hour. So I'm just trying to stay ahead of my bugs and fish it right back to me. And that's on a size 12 waltz with a inverted four millimeter bead. So the wind's really dying down <clears throat> a little bit. I might lighten up my bug a smidge because I'm ticking bottom a lot now. So let's just lighten up the load. Go to a 3.5. It's 
put that stone fly back on. That's actually a really nice drift through there now. There's a fish. <laughs> Look at that. Make that fly change, get a better drift because the other bug was too heavy. It was ticking bottom too much and I could tell right away I had a nice drift. First cast and he nails it. <laughs> and he hit the stone fly. These fish are just so amazingly powerful here on the Madison. There's Chunky Rainbow. Thank you there, Mr. Bow. Thank you there, buddy. Just awesome chunks, man. Awesome chunks. Once again, that fish was all about managing weight. I caught one just really just before this one uh, maybe 10 casts prior to that but then I just felt like I I took a couple steps up and every cast my bugs were bouncing on the bottom which you do not it's okay if it ticks every now and then but it was actually bouncing didn't like that drift at all I lightened up to a three and a half bead and just got a really nice drift just like I'm getting right now just a really nice solid drift I can tell my fly is accessing the bottom, but it's not ticking the bottom. Just have a nice bow in my cider. And when that wind kicks up again, I'll go ahead and switch back. There's a fish. <clears throat> just right in that eddy. Just off of that gravel bar. And he hit the stone pony again. This is a, this is a cutthroat, or a cut bow. Actually, that's a cutthroat. That's a cutthroat. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that. Somebody caught him before though. That's awesome. Thank you there, buddy. All right, let's see if I can't pop one over in that eddy. Over there. There we go. Try to get him out of there. Just over in that eddy. You hit the France midge. Quick with Leash Rainbow. Nice 12 incher. just really over there Ugh, gotta back my way out nice rainbow hit the stone pony <coughs> real nice rainbow Premature net job. There you go. What a fish that is right there. That's a stud. That is a stud. 
Look at that guy. 17 inches. What a beauty. Thank you there, Mr. Bo. Thank you there, buddy. Get over there. Nice edge right over there. There's a fish. Just in that fast eddy over there. <clears throat> Look how this thing's swimming upstream. I have to go down here a bit. Hit the stone pony again. Ah, oh, got off. That's okay. That was a cut though right there. There's a fish. <coughs> Feisty one. <laughs> Look at that guy. Well, this is definitely the smallest one I've gotten today. Look how fat that guy is, though. Thank you there, buddy. That's probably my second fish I've caught under 12 inches today. These fish are really, <clears throat> really getting in this faster water now. It's <clears throat> later on in the afternoon. I, ne I never started fishing until about two o'clock. There's a fish. Oh, nice brownie. Nice brownie. So I've been fishing. It's uh, 5.30. Oh, wow. That was a hell of a fish right there, and he got me jacked up in this tree. <clears throat> you can see this rolling water here. And I've just noticed over the last like, half hour or so, man, they have just moved up in this fast water. Well, that was a nice brownie right there. <clears throat> really rolling through here, but you gotta get tight. There it is. <clears throat> mm, awesome. Boy, sometimes. The water looks almost unfishable, but they are in here. And if you get your bugs down, you have got a great chance here. And I've got a 3.5 stone pony on the bottom and a 2.5 France midge on top. And in this rolling water with 6X, I am really getting some good drifts now. The wind died down for me, so it's letting me lighten up. And a 3.5 here is pretty light. There's, there's a fish. Small guy, though. He hit below me on the midge. Nope, I'm sorry, he hit the uh, stone pony. Thank you there, buddy. Smaller guy. I don't want that dude I just lost. There we go. Oh. Just trying to... Just the wind is kicking up and I'm trying to fish straight upstream to me again and keeping everything low to the water, burying my cider. He hit the France midge. Nice feisty rainbow. 
Thank you there, Mr. Bo. Thank you there, buddy. Just right in this beautiful eddy. Just trying to keep everything low below the wind to fish right back to me. I have the front of my sighter in the water. There's fish. Whoa, nice brownie. Woo! Whoa, look at that. That could be 20 inches. Oh, man, what a beast. What a beast. Gorgeous brownie here. It's on the stone pony. Look at that. That's 20 inches right there, buddy. Oh, Lord. Woo! Ah, oh, that was awesome. That was, that was awesome. Mm, boy, he was right in that churning white water right there. And I had made a couple casts from below and I just got sideways and I just got a nice, better drift. Mm, what a, what a beautiful fish that was. I'll be dreaming about that guy tonight. He was probably over 20. I just saw a fish rise up there. This is too much weight. So I'm gonna put a 3-0 stone pony on. I still have a lot of wind, but if I can just slide it through the current there, I might get him to take. I just didn't like how I was bouncing on the bottom there. Cause it's a little shallow in there. So let's see if I can get a better drift in there. Just kind of sliding it through there. Oh, that was a good drift. He hit that 3-0 stone pony. <clears throat> just before that, I had that 4-0 in. It was just bouncing too much. And I was kind of seeing him up in the column there, so. Nice chunk rainbow. Tell you what, that stone pony's been good to me today. Thank you there, buddy. Boy, they are just built. They're stout. Like another couple casts up in these two pockets, and we're gonna call it a day. There we go. This is a it's a big fish. Big brownie. Nice big brownie here. Let's get him up in this pocket. I have nowhere to fight this fish. Wow. Nowhere to fight this guy. Oh, look at that thing. Look at that thing. Mm. What a fish. Just trying to keep him in his home here. I can slide them up. There we 
go. That is a beast right there. That is a beast. What a fish to end on right there. He's, he's over 20. 21 inches right there. What a great fish to end on. Thank you there, Mr. Brown. Thank you, buddy. Let's get him up here. Thank you there, Mr. Brown. There you go. That was awesome. Right in his hole. Slipping back in there. You gotta love the Madison. So I'm gonna be calling it quits here on the Madison. Man, what a day I had today. Uh, it's uh, 6.30 and I started around two, so I fished for four and a half hours and I felt like I caught fish from the time I started to the time I ended and that last cast there was that beautiful 21 inch uh, brownie. It made up for that 20 plus inch I lost just before that. Uh, and just on a side note, I, uh, I, the way I fought that fish, you could see it was all heavy current around me everywhere and I had nowhere to land that except the hole that I hooked it in. So it kept trying to get back in there. So I just fought it in there. I let it get in there. And then I was able to get it to the surface and net him. But uh, boy, what a beautiful way to end. I caught cut bows, cutthroat, rainbows, and brown trout today. Uh, all uh, really came, most of the rainbows actually came on a size 20 France midge uh, in an olive with a silver bead and a black and silver bead. Uh, caught a ton on the stone pony size 14 and right there at the end I went to a 3 OB just because it was a little bit more shallow and I was just trying to really just float my uh, bugs through the column there uh, and um, uh, like I said you know most of them were on 3 5 B today and then occasionally I went to that size 12 uh, waltz worm with an orange collar and a 4 mil B just because of the wind and the raging current but uh, you can see I worked all this pocket water the edges and uh, just had a heck of a day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, I'd appreciate if you would subscribe. And as always, tight lines, everybody. I'll talk to you later.